Hello guys, so for today's video I want to extract hero Pakwito, the heavenly face which is the the first skin of Pakwito. So before I'm gonna do that I want to thank all of you for subscribing to my youtube channel right now we are at 122 subscribers so thank you very much for all of your support it helps me a lot so let's get right into the video so what we're gonna do now is we want to find the hero the file hero for Pakito we need to open your smartphone folder open android data com.mobile agents files dragon2017 Assets, R, and write, and for the H, and we want to search for Hero Pakuito. The name is and Hero underscore Pakuite. Search for the file. So what we want is the first skin only. This is the high poly, this is low poly, and this is the all animation. All the animation copy this and paste it into the desktop now what we're gonna do is close this open asset studio gui uh, we want to this one the high poly one high add drag it into asset studio gui go to asset list click type we want to see the 3d model go to the mesh this is the 3d model of pakuito high poly so now what we're gonna do is go to scene hierarchy we want to click this check mark and highlight this go to asset list highlight animation click both of these animation clip go to model click export selected objects merge plus selected animation clips click this and then go to the desktop right click and we want to create a new folder and we want to rename it as hero pakuito the heavenly fist okay open this and create a new folder uh, we want to rename it as high poly and then create a new folder and rename it as low poly Okay, open high poly and save the this one the high add merge into the high poly folder so we get the texture and we get the 3d model high poly 3d model including the preview animation so now what we're gonna do is close this close open assets to the GUI and just drag both of these Hero Pakuite skin and Hero Pakuite drag both of these into the Asset Studio GUI and then what we're gonna do is go to Asset List and then go to the Mesh to see the low poly model of Hero Pakuito what we're gonna do now is go to the Scene Hierarchy we want the, this one which is the low poly model and highlight this and then go to Asset List Click type, okay. Highlight all the animation clip that we want, all of it. Go to model, click export selected object merge plus selected animation clips. So go here, go to low poly, open and save it inside the low poly folder. Okay, we got it. So what we're gonna do now is. So as you can see the the texture is dark darker so what we're gonna do is before we gonna increase the brightness just drag the folder of hero pakito inside the unity click fix now and then what we're gonna do is go high poly drag it into the hierarchy okay this one Click F to see the 3D model is so small Click this one, go to model, change the scale factor into 100 Click apply Okay Auto generate the light um, 
what we're gonna do now is right click create a new material create a new material okay we have two material here so the first material just drag this into the albedo and this one drag the we have the letter D we want the letter D one texture okay this one drag this one into the albedo now drag this to the skin and drag this to the okay this one because the Hiropakuito requires two texture so as you can see the texture of the Hiropakuito does not look uh, beautiful enough does not the texture is not bright so what we're gonna do we want to edit the brightness of the texture using photoshop so now what we're gonna do open photoshop okay we have open photoshop go to file open desktop open the folder copy to the value face open high poly open this one and this one right okay the letter d this one and this one open okay it open both of these and then open one one texture which is in in the low poly model yeah, low poly folder this one open okay we got three three texture that we want to edit i just gonna read the line now read that line and let's get to let's change the brightness click the circle icon go to levels and just drag it into until you until the brightness change it into the brightness that you want and this one okay i like that one so go to file save as uh, rename it spng and re rename it just put number one there save okay close this one this what you're gonna do go down here circle icon go select level and then just drag it until it bright Okay. Okay, that's good. Go file and save as. Go to PNG and then type down the number one. Save. Okay. Close this one and this one. We want to click the circle icon, click level, and change the brightness just drag the white triangle looks good okay go to file set s and then go to change it, the format into png and then type down number one there and save okay so close the photoshop open unity just drag the the one the texture that we want inside the unity this one and then this one okay next the low poly model this one drag it into unity okay next what we're gonna do is go to high poly go this material and drag this one into the albedo it will change the skin okay it looks brighter and more beautiful so the next thing is this one drag the this one into the albedo now it looks more more what? more beautiful we forgot something which is this one we need to drag the normal map so that it looks more detailed okay and this one we need to drag this blue one to the normal map it looks more detailed okay remember 
to put the albedo and normal map both of the material so next what we're gonna do is um, we want to create a new animator controller so we don't need to rename it just click double click there scroll down okay just want to drag the animation city action into the animator city idle into the animator then right click here and make a transition into city idle double click city idle go down here did you city action no city idle click loop time and then click apply okay then what we're gonna do is drag the animator controller into here okay game maximum play we forget something which is create a uh, plane 3d object plane reset the position and click play so as you can see it looks more beautiful the texture so next what we're gonna do is um go here drag the camera inside here and maybe play the mesh is not good enough so just go back So we just done the high poly model. So what we're gonna do is the low poly model. The trigger model is so small. So go to the model and change it into 100. Click apply. Create a new material the video inside there and just go here so what we're gonna do is this one change it into zero so what we're gonna do is Um, right click create a new animator controller <coughs> animator controller and double click here drag all the animation attack animation attack number one number two number three that animation um Recall Run Run number 2 Skill number 1 Skill number 1 1 Skill number 2 Number 2 1 2 2 Skill number three. Skill number three one. Three two. And three three. Then very good. So next um five idol number two. And five idol number one. And then what we're gonna do is go up here, right click, make a transition into attack number two, transition attack number three, make the transition all the way.
Kemudian file idol double click Go to file idol number 2 Click loop time Click apply Drag this one Into here Then click play So that's all for the animation locally model of V2. So thank you very much for watching my tutorial for today. I hope you have a wonderful day. Please make sure you leave a like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye bye.